Anne Lullier, professor in atomic physics at Lund University, has received a grant from the European Research Council. She has also received the UNESCO L'Oreal Prize for Women in Science 2011. Now we're going to visit her and her team in the lab. Very early as a child I was very interested uh, by natural sciences and, and mathematics. I like very much my, my work. I, I like to uh, I like to do research and to uh, solve problems to, to be in, in, in the laboratory and I, I like to uh, interact with my students very much and I also like to teach. I met Anne on a conference and I thought oh, this is the one, uh, the woman I would like to work with. <laughs> she encouraged people around her to do their best and they do it with a smile and they uh, are happy doing it. Scientists use high-speed cameras to see the motions of the fast-beating wings in small flying animals. In the laboratory at Lund University, Anne and her team have managed to develop a new technique that makes it possible to track the motions of one of nature's smallest and fastest moving components, the electrons. Electronic processes are very important in, in, in nature in general, so it's, it's, uh, um, what we do is really a new way to study atoms. So it's very interesting uh, for fundamental research. To see the electron movements, the technique has to be extremely fast. The scientists use lasers to create short light pulses in the attosecond range. One attosecond is about as short compared to a second as a second is to twice the age of the universe. I mean, I have uh, this vision to really um, um, follow um, these electronic processes uh, in, in the time domain, and I think we are just at the beginning of that. Basic science is very important. All the, the big discoveries are really based on basic science uh, in the first place, for example, the laser, or if we take even earlier, electricity, or this kind of thing. So it's very important to, to do basic science. Uh, then I can also say that... Uh, um, on the size of our research, we are uh, pushing uh, laser technology uh, forward, and uh, this uh, this also leads to application. It's really a, a research has to be done by a group, and it's very important this group can work efficiently together. What has the the grant from the European Research Council meant uh, to your work? It's uh, it has meant a lot, um, really a, a big change for my funding. Uh, I have been able to uh, triple my research group, go from four or five people to now about 15, and this is very important in, in our research uh, um, to, to, to have this kind of critical mass. I'm Fernando, I'm from Argentina. Uh, I'm Piotr Daske, I'm from Poland. My name is Espen, I'm from Aarhus University in Denmark. I, I like very much to have an international group, actually. Um, the only thing I regret a little bit is that there are very few women in this group. It's mostly men. But uh, this, is, uh, this is changing, and we have recently recruited two uh, uh, female PhD students, so hopefully this will change with, with years. There are so very few women in, in physics um, at, at my level, and, and especially, I would say, in the Nordic countries. I think there should be more women. Uh, to come into science, it should not be. It should not change too fast, and it should. There should not be uh, positive discrimination. That's very important. It's important women come to these uh, high positions in academia, but really the right women that have the the competence. I, I think role models are important. I am sure that the fact that Marie Curie exist, existed was important for me as a young girl. I knew that at least Marie Curie has made a career in science and maybe I could also do that. So uh, so I think this, this is important. Yeah. I think she doesn't want to be seen as a role model, but I think she is one by definition because she's a really successful woman in science uh, who managed to have a also a lovely family and she, she balances and she has it all.